Today is the start of a not so pleasant day. Um, not because it's not a beautiful day, but because today is the day that the shower has to get fixed. So we're in Prescott, Arizona at our good friend's house, Joe and Lily. And uh, Joe's gonna help me demo the shower, demolish the shower and rebuild it with a new shower pan and whatever else we gotta do to it. It is not gonna be fun because it is beautiful and we, uh, I guess we kind of superficially built, should have checked the shower pan before we built everything up on it. But it wasn't leaking when we got the camper and we said if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And then it broke. So here we go. So what I determined to be the issue is that the plumbing underneath um, is not coming up perfectly level to the drain. And the drain has a nut that's supposed to screw onto the plumbing part and that locks the, the drain in place in the top part of the shower pan. That, it was at an angle because uh, the manufacturers or whoever worked on this last just kind of forced the nut on there um, and eventually over time the, there was a leak that developed on the top side of the drain and uh, we tried to get the nut off the bottom. It was just too difficult to do because the plumbing was all jacked up and as we did that we cracked the pan was able to get help. Um, a friend was able to work with fiberglass and seal it. Um, but that's where the issue is. It's coming from the drain part of the shower pan. So the demo of the shower walls is gonna basically be to take apart everything we put up. And we did most of that with either screws or with, uh, with a nail gun. So most of the planks, actually all the planks will hopefully pry off pretty easily um, because they just got a nail or two in them holding them in place. Didn't need to do anything too heavy with that. Uh, then we've got some 2x4s that are screwed together, both the decorative ones that go up the side of the wall, as well as some of the support and foundational ones that help with the framing down below. And then of course there is the um, copper line that, that we've used for um, the shower curtain rod. And so that's going to come apart. And I'm hoping that we can put it back. The shower pan that we bought is the same dimensions that I can tell. So I'm hoping that we can put it back exactly the same using the same pieces of wood. So I'll put little numbers on them just so I know which ones are, are which um, when they stack together and where they go. Um, but hopefully I can put it back together the same way. Otherwise we might have to cut new copper for a new shower curtain rod. We might have to buy new cedar and stain it and do all kinds of stuff. But we gotta do what we gotta do because you can't have a leak in, a, in an RV. Plumbing is the number one, I would say number one issue. No, there's a lot of issues that could be number one. Propane leaks are uh, a deadly, probably, yeah, they're deadly. Um, this is just very inconvenient and can cause water rot in places you don't want to have it. So um, we are going to do what we need to do to fix this and make it look nice. Um, looks come second to function, but it's going to look nice again. We got all the cedar boards off, all the outside, the beautiful part of it, and I'm down to the frame, which is two by fours. And uh, from there, I got to find some screws and start taking those out because everything's secured to itself. Um, so far, everything's come apart easily, and I'm a little concerned looking at the tub that I might have gotten the wrong shower pan. Great. So Joe helped with this in taking everything apart. We got the shower lining ready to come off and uh, see what's behind on the wall, it's pretty crazy. got the shower walls out so now all that's left is taking out the shower pan it's connected the plumbing's connected but the whole problem that we had was that nut is on it's torqued on there the wrong way um, forced on there so we're gonna cut the pipe with a sawzall and then the pan will just lift up and lift out and then we'll see hopefully no water damage underneath there um, but we'll see and we'll also look at the framework that's there it's relatively simple from what I've seen. Um, a lot of people will just use like two by fours. Looks like there's some plywood that's been used here um, and some one bys. 
but uh, you kind of build a frame around the plumbing and then put a piece of plywood on top of that and then you set the shower pan on. So we're going to be taking it apart in reverse and I don't think there's going to be damage. I think we caught it in time, um, but we'll see. Well, among all of the great news, um, our friend Joe is amazing for helping us get this far and uh, finishing out with us. Great news aside from all that help is the tub is the right size. The shower pan is the right size. So we actually found out it's the same exact manufacturer. I got lucky. I did I did weeks worth of research trying to make this decision and we needed a right hand drain if we could find one. Otherwise, we we're going to have to adjust the plumbing. Wasn't going to be the end of the world to have to adjust the plumbing, but with the right hand drain hopefully matching up, I said, let's just close our eyes and go with that. And a five inch, it was supposed to be a five inch um, thick pan or, or depth. And so I found one from a retailer, sorry, I found one from a distributor. I called him up and I said, you got no information about this product, can you tell me more? And they explained it and then they said the company that manufactured it and never heard of them, did a little bit of research just to try to make sure. Um, by the time we paid for it, it was about $350, $160 or so for the product. And then they charged a whole bunch for the shipping. So it was over $300. So I wanted to make sure I made the right decision because if I was gonna have to pay the shipping to return it, it's going to be a lot and uh, we got lucky we got really lucky it is the same exact dimensions everything looks perfect and it's the same manufacturer um, so again that was a that's a big win and there's no major water damage that we can tell um, just have to get a new piece of the p-trap because we had to sawzall the old drain off and then uh, that's about the only new component that we're gonna have to have with of course a new drain that, that we've got already um, but everything seems to be, for once, not a big cluster. Before we can put the shower walls back in, we're cleaning up all the old silicone. Um, and there's a lot of it because I was involved with the process. So the wood will hem in when we put it back on. The wood frame is going to hem in the sides. Um, but we siliconed everywhere that the wood met with the shower wall, um, just because we were that afraid of water leaking. And so now we have a lot of silicone we have to uh, get rid of. <laughs> what face is that? The face uh, I don't want to do. Don't That's super do easy. I wish I would have grabbed it before you did. Now I'll show you how it works. This is the stuff that kills my wrist. Okay. So it may not look like a victory, but today is a big win. Um, we got the shower pan in place and it fits. We got all the plumbing connected in a way that is correct. Um, so we shouldn't have the issue that we had before. And there's also access now to be able to get to it and the nut screws off the drain. So, or I, I can tighten it down. Um, it's all accessible now. So super happy, not, um, not finished, not by a long shot. I got to put everything back together. But because the shower pan was the same exact size, I think dimension wise, we're going to be able to put everything back. Um, all the panels, all the cedar that we've cut, everything should go back. I numbered it so I know which side it goes to and which panel is the bottom and the next one and the top one and all that. So it should be relatively simple. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to sleep on this. We've got some cement that's drying right now on the plumbing. And then uh, we're going to come in tomorrow, do a little water test, make sure everything is watertight. And then from there, we'll start the rebuild. We'll add the shower wall first, and then I'll add all of the uh, all of the cedar and all the framing. So far, this is not as overwhelming a job as what I thought it was gonna be when the first issue happened. Um, Joe, my friend Joe, is amazing. Um, he's de developed property, he's got things he's constantly fixing and repairing, got an amazing truck camper he's been fixing up all the time, and so, I knew he was handy enough to be able to, one, keep me calm, and two, help me do the things that were a little bit beyond me. So without Joe, um, all around, like we couldn't do this without having a place where we can shower for a couple days. So um, so we've got that, and his expertise, and his being calm, and it's just he's a really awesome, awesome friend helping out with this. Um, I will be doing the rebuild from this point forward, but with him helping kind of pull things apart and say, yep, that's where that needs to go, or nope, that's, uh, that looks a little off, um, we've been able to figure everything out. 
if we weren't waiting for everything to dry and doing the water test and all that, we might be able to get it done in one day. Um, but it looks like it's going to be a two day, maybe two and a half day job. So on that note, I'm going to go ahead and take a break and we'll pick up tomorrow when we're adding, uh, when we're adding the shower panels, the side walls. And uh, yeah, we'll pick it up there. Today we got another step closer to being back to normal with the shower. Uh, we put the side shower siding back in um, and with that it fit the way it was supposed to because the shower pan was exactly the same dimensions as the one the old one um, the new one was so everything fit back in we secured it to the wall and we have put some caulk down around the bottom some silicone and that's got to dry so the next step we're going to do is we're going to put some tape um, that will allow the water to come over the top and so it's, as it's dripping down the side of the wall, it'll go over that and to the lip, into the bath, or into the shower pan, and not go behind the wall. And we'll also put a strip of that across the top um, as well, and that will uh, that will finish up redoing the shower, and then it's just building out the, the shower frame. And again, all the pieces of the wood should fit perfectly back to normal where they were. So that's the hope. We'll get into the build tomorrow. And we're waiting for the silicone to dry right now on the on the bottom so that we can go over with the tape and put the tape down there and uh, yeah move on to the next step I'm also going to reconnect the uh, what the faucets um, so there's an access way through our kitchen that allows us to access the back side of the shower and I'm going to go ahead and connect that so we'll have our water that we can use again in the camper because um, it's been disconnected while the shower wall was off so the next step before we put the um, wood frame back together is going to be to use this stuff. And what that does is it goes around the base of the tub and it also goes around the ceiling. And with that, what it will do is it will create a 90 degree elbow where water will go over the top and on down into the shower pan itself. So it's an added layer of protection to keep water from getting into or behind the shower pan. And that's a necessary step when it comes to working with showers or tubs. And once that's done, once I get all of it done on the top and the bottom, then it'll be time to start framing again, putting the shower back together. Everything works the way it's supposed to. No leaks in the drain. Showers hooked back up. Water flow is perfect. So um, right now it's just a matter of getting everything zipped back up together getting pretty excited. So the first thing I have to do is I'm putting back the frame for the showers. I've got to get the base uh, level so that I can build the frame. Um, the shower is a weird angle and there's a platform that it's sitting on that's got a little even weirder angle to it and so basically I had to create my own angles by moving positioning wood around that comes off the shower pan just a little bit. Um, the width of two two by fours so about three and a half inches or so. And what that'll allow me to do is then lay all the paneling together perfectly together. Um, but first things first is I had to get it level um, with these blocks on the outside. So I got all the wood back, all the cedar planks, and we had already framed everything up on the wall for what it should look like. And I went ahead and just made sure every piece went back to the same place. And for the most part, everything fits sometimes a little bit more snug, but mostly right where it needs to. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to start using the nail gun and locking everything in place. And then hopefully by the end of today, we'll have a shower. Although the pipe might be a little bit off oh, that's because right. we're up about a quarter of an inch. Yeah. But we'll figure out, we'll figure that detail out later. The first thing that we need to do right now is just to go ahead and start um, nailing everything together.
We just got done uh, stapling the, or nail gunning the outside of the right side wall and everything worked out really, really nice. Now I gotta go into tight spaces inside the shower because now we gotta do the inside walls. But if everything works out as well on the inside as it did on the outside, we'll be in great shape and we'll be done in just a couple minutes. One inside wall is done, the left side inside wall. Now to go and do the right side inside wall, and then we'll add the curtain. Whew. If you can tell, I'm getting tired, but we're getting down to the end. We got all the cedar panels back in place where they need to be on the inside of the shower and the outside of the shower. So the next step is gonna be to hang our copper shower rod curtain, shower curtain rod, and that is going to take a little finessing but it goes, it starts up here, and it's gonna go across the top, and then over to that side, there's gonna be another piece over there. Lindsay's finagling with it, but we're not gonna put the screws into the same hole. Mm, okay. So, because we don't have thicker screws. Anytime you're working with screws, if you take out a screw and you wanna put a screw into that same exact spot, you wanna go with a thicker screw, um, but we don't have thicker screws, so we're just gonna tweak the circular thing just a little bit, the flange just a little bit. So we put the screws into a different hole, a new hole, and they'll be good to go. I can see you in the mirror. <laughs> you have any tissue, baby? I'm feeling sick. <laughs> you don't know the context of what's going on. You're like, what the heck is that? We've got the shower curtain rod, the copper rod is in place. It looks phenomenal, it is super secure. The very last thing is the most important thing and that's water sealing all of the edges. I don't have enough caulk to do it all in one job, but I think I'm gonna use the last of the caulk for one portion and then we'll go tomorrow to the hardware store of your choosing. We don't have a favorite one, but we'll go to a hardware store and what nice. we're gonna, gonna need to do is we're gonna caulk from the top, all the way down, all the way down. I'm gonna caulk along the bottom, anywhere, because this isn't like your standard RV glass shower, that's what we got rid of. Um, anywhere there's any kind of seam at all, we're gonna caulk it with silicone, and that's gonna keep water from getting behind the cedar. Water behind the cedar would be death in the shower, and so we're just gonna make sure we do it right get it all sealed correctly. And it never leaked before, so. Nope, so as long as we do the same job we did and better than what we did before, then we'll be back in shape. There is, uh, the seam was great up here, but there is a little bit where the tape, the old tape was longer. 
So whenever Lindsay goes back and paints the shower pan or the shower walls, um, and then we don't have to put silicone on the screws, but I'm going to because again, anytime there's a place where water can permeate, you want to stop that in an RV. And my goodness, does it feel good. We could not have done this without our friend Joe. He was a champ, um, mm -hmm. both in giving us the confidence when we were discouraged, when we found the leak, he was the first person I called and he said, don't panic, you can fix it. It's just a matter of figuring out how it works and taking baby steps. So we have baby stepped everything out of here and baby stepped it all the way back. And we're just down to the end, down to sealing it. And then putting the shower curtain up and calling it good. I'm excited. Yeah. This is, um, High five. it went easier than the first time because I didn't have to cut wood as we went. Everything yep. fit perfectly back, back together. So this actually took us like perfectly. 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. With a really awesome uh, dinner might be ready nail gun. Mm. So yeah, let's go. Let's go ahead and call tonight. I'm gonna do a little bit of caulking, but let's call it, and then uh, tomorrow we'll get more sealant, more caulk, more silicone, and we will silicone the crap out of the shower, and then let it dry, and then we'll be good. Yeah. No more leaks. So we're getting down to the very end, the last pieces of putting the shower back together. And that is essentially going to be to caulk all of the seams nice and liberally so that we can keep water out from getting behind in the place we don't want it to go. So there's a lot of seams that I'm going to have to do. Shouldn't take terribly long, um, but once this is done, then we'll give it time to dry. We'll hang up the shower curtain and we'll be back in business. Done. It is done. I got all the caulk, all the uh, silicone around every edge where there would be water exposed to it. Um, I'm going to let it dry and maybe go back over some spots tomorrow. Um, but I think it's I think it's great. It looks good. It smells awful. Um, but we are at that phase where the shower should be fixed and good to go. And yeah, this has just been, it's been crazy having to deal with it and panicking up front. But now that everything was taken apart step by step and put back together step by step, everything looks good. It functions good. And I'm excited to have this, uh, this shower back. It's beautiful. It's one of, uh, one of a kind, built it custom. If you like the design, you can always email us. Um, we do have a post on our website. I'll link to that below and to the other videos where we we're building the shower. Um, not a lot of detail in that video because our camera went on the fritz in the middle of it, but you can still see for the most part what we did to build this beautiful, beautiful cedar, cedar shower. So I'm going to call it. Thanks for following along. If you do have any questions or comments, please leave them. Um, don't tell me I did something wrong because I probably did. Uh, and I take it very personal when I'm told I did something wrong. But uh, leave a positive comment or any questions that you might have. We'd love to help you create something like this that uh, adds a lot of personality to your camper and, of course, is very functional. I can stand in here. I can shower standing up, which is awesome. Um, everything works the way it should. So, uh, yeah, leave a message, leave a comment, like our video. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to our channel for more of everything that happens on the road. This is a remodel or this is a repair, um, but it is part of our journey. It happened while we were traveling, the problem, and we had to solve it while we were traveling. So that is part of life on the road. Things break, you gotta fix them. Thanks for being a part of this. We'll see you in the next episode.